This is incredibly hard to show, so I'm going to try and do my best here and do a sort of different couple of ways of uh, showing basically the differences between 144 Hz on the left and 60 Hz on the right. Stick around to find out more. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. Sort of a quick introduction to this video, and um, we're going to try and attempt a more scientific approach to this because there isn't that, uh, many of those sort of videos out there. They're kind of just a really wide screen, sort of split screen version of uh, of capturing stuff. So I'm going to try my best to do the best possible video for you guys. But um, long story short, this is a 144 hertz versus 60 hertz monitor sort of showdown. The monitor we're going to be using for the 144 hertz monitor is the AOC um, G2460P. Uh, PQU um, model actually, and the um, BenQ monitor, uh, the 60 hertz monitor is going to be the BenQ GL2450HM, and um, that is a more value monitor in comparison, in the sense that this one is generally, if you take away the 144 hertz options, this is still a way more premium monitor than this one. So price uh, is a little bit different um, in that sort of one. So you want to pick out a more premium 1080p monitor to compare it against price. But in terms of performance, uh, visual performance, they're both pretty accurate and they're both pretty awesome. So that's um, just the lay the land there. Now, we're going to be doing uh, effectively a sort of an attempt at a more scientific video um, because there isn't really that many out there. So um, I'm going to attempt to f effectively film e uh, each one doing the same thing and then I'll sort of show you the differences if I can. Um, and you know, as I said, I'm going to try um, to do uh, as much uh, sort of high end um, stuff. We're going to be using a Yoyo Tech PC and this one's got an MSI 980 in it. So hopefully that should be able to push games just about enough to show you guys the differences. Now, in terms of um, my opinion, just before we get into the sort of scientific aspect of it, um, I would definitely say that if you're on a budget um, and, and sort of comparing between a 144 hertz monitor and maybe a new GPU or, or higher end GPU or CPU, um, or maybe a better storage option, I may I may be inclined to go with the storage or the hardware as opposed to the, um, the the monitor option, mostly because monitors can be more easily upgraded and generally hold their value a bit better than trying to sell on a CPU. Um, you know, in that sense, and obviously you can also um, you know play games at a better FPS, or play all games at better uh, frame uh, frame rate rather than playing a couple at 100, uh, 144 hertz. So you know, it, it just sort of, you gotta be careful what you do, but. That's my general opinion. If you aren't on a budget though, or you do have a budget that uh, you know expands to say you can have an awesome monitor, definitely check one of these out because it's a fantastic experience, um, especially in gaming. You know, um, even in general use for things like web browsing, it's pretty fantastic. Um, you get a lot more of a fluid um, response and you know a fluid view, um, and it generally, for me, it's meant that I can uh, sort of enjoy using my PC a bit more without having to sort of rub my eyes and take a break, for example. So it's it, it's a bit nicer of an experience in general and also as I said it is quite a, a nice experience for gaming as well for that sort of raw FPS and I do uh, personally see a difference especially in the area between sort of 60 and just above that to so maybe about 100 that's probably the biggest area of difference in my opinion that you'll see um, in in sort of an essence of noticeable difference. After that you are getting into the realms of probably the placebo effect type thing, so if you're looking at the difference between 120 and 144 hertz, there's probably not much in there, so probably go with the one you just like best and you have the best sort of inkling to, um, whether that's price, design, features, uh, just pick the best one for you. Um, but in terms of 60 hertz versus 144, nowadays I would definitely lean towards 144. Obviously there is also the 4K debate, whether you go 1080p, uh, 144 hertz or 4K. Personally, I would say that the graphics horsepower for most PCs right now just isn't the best um, and isn't quite good enough to play 4K games and, and that sort of stuff. So that 4K monitor would probably be more used for day-to-day um, -day stuff. But in that sense, you do get more screen real estate. So it's kind of just up to you which one you like better. Now obviously, <laughs> to get back to the content of this video, um, I would, yeah, my opinion, I'd definitely go with 144 Hz if I could sort of do it all again. But um, yeah, let's try and get onto the more scientific approach.
So I hope this video has given you a good idea of, you know, the differences between 144 and, and 60 hertz. And obviously, as I said, 144 and 120 are relatively similar. But um, yeah, just to give you an idea of the PC we ran this uh, all our tests on, it was an Intel 4790K with an NZXT Kraken uh, cooler, also 16 gigs of RAM, and most importantly, an MSI GTX 980, and also a, an SSD plus a hard drive for larger files. Now, um, as I said in the beginning of the video, my personal opinion is that if you have the budget or you're looking to upgrade monitors, for example, especially if you already have a single 1080p monitor like I did, um, adding a 144Hz monitor, if your PC can handle obviously, is fantastic. Um, it's generally amazing for long-term um, general sort of PC use as well as it's fantastic for gaming. Um, and it just makes everything look really cool and you can see very smooth animations in Windows and, you know, it, it just it, it excites the nerd in me, I guess. But um, anyway, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting one if you can afford one. But if not, I would definitely, um, you know, if you're looking to buy a sort of cheaper monitor and you just wanted to know the difference, I'd definitely take a look at the BenQ one on the right there as it's fantastic. And feel free to click on the right or the left of the screen here or click on the actual monitors themselves for the full reviews of each one. Now, as I said, the uh, PC that uh, we were using on was actually provided by Yoyo Tech. We actually have an offer code for them. If you want to buy anything... Um, you know, from them. Use offer code TechTeamGB and check out to be able to get a free next day delivery. So that's that's awesome. Those guys are awesome. And um, feel free to follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Obviously, um, Facebook is uh, facebook.com slash TechTeamGB and Twitter is at TechTeamGB. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Use our Amazon affiliate code. Um, check out some of our other videos. Like if you liked it. Dislike if you dislike it. Leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the video. Obviously, thanks to the guys who's um, sort of suggested to do this video. And other than that, we will see you all in the next one.